Music made me who I am today. It gave me an identity. Something to focus on. Something to work for. It literally transformed my entire being. When I first started school, and as I progressed through each key stage, there were various people, both friends of my parents and teachers, that would subtly hint that maybe I wouldn't amount to much. That was until at the tiny age of four, I discovered this amazing thing called music. And as I've gone through my life, it transpires that I'm actually quite good at it. Thanks to a very supportive family and a team of dedicated educators who took me under their wing and noticed my aptitude for music in the first place, I've had over 10 great years of performance experience. From being in my first band at the age of nine, taking part in my first tour at the age of 18, and playing the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in 2018. And now, as a music educator, I, like my parents and musical mentors, notice how students discover themselves through the power of music, how they reach a newfound freedom to express themselves and to become something they didn't know they could be before. We as teachers of the arts know more than most about the continual slashing of budgets and growing lack of resources within music education. But this should not prevent us from helping our young minds discover themselves through music and to potentially unlock a lifetime of memories through it. I'd even go as far as to say we have a responsibility to these young minds to expose them to the wonders of music. Yes, it is disheartening when the focus in education has been primarily on the core subjects for such a long time. And it is really, really heartbreaking when our subject is treated as a second class citizen on a school timetable. But this should not stop us from doing what's right for our children. Rather than let it destroy us and destroy buddy musicians and teachers in the process, we should continue to fight for the subject that we love. The subject that has made us all in one way or another. What do I mean when I say fight? I mean that when a year seven comes bounding down the corridor and declares, Sir, Miss, I've learnt a new song on the piano and goes to play yet another version of Someone Like You or Heart and Soul, that we should applaud them with so much enthusiasm and shower them with so many compliments that they feel as if they played Wembley Stadium in front of thousands for the first time. I mean that when a very nervous but very talented year 11 is fretting about their GCSE performance exam or their first ever gig, we should take the time to pull them aside, sit them down and explain to them our first times on stage and give them a chance to feel just a little less alone and a whole lot more capable. They say that time is a healer, and I'm a big believer that giving time to the sorts of students I've just mentioned could go a long way to healing the cracks in music education we experience every day. Will it fix everything? Absolutely not. We've got a long way to go. But it'd do a whole lot more than sitting by and letting the next generation of musicians and teachers go unnoticed and unchallenged. I believe that we must allow our students to be afforded the same opportunities that we were at school. And if these opportunities aren't readily available, we must create them. The one story that springs to mind from my time as a student was when I met my head of music for the first time in Year 7. He saw something in me and made it known that provided I worked hard and remained focused on my studies, that he would find a place for me in any performance scenario he could. And he did just that. I was in the jazz band, the school choir, and represented the school in many concerts and open evenings throughout my time. And with every opportunity given to me, my confidence in my ability grew and grew. Now I firmly believe that without that, I would not be here today, talking to you. An example of this from my own teaching practice was when I took a young student of mine to a band rehearsal of mine. At the time, this particular student was wavering in interest and confidence. And all it took was that one Wednesday evening of him coming to rehearsal and getting the chance to play with a real band to really change things, to reignite the spark and push him to continue. I'm happy to say that this student has gone on to do great things. Granted, my method was unorthodox, but it worked. That one thing, that one moment, kept that student's love for music alive. My point is, 
there are plenty of opportunities for us to allow music to make others every single day. We must just take the time to find them. Now, I know that sometimes going above and beyond isn't always possible. All I ask is that if there ever is a chance that you could give some extra time and extra support to a student, please do it. It could change their lives, their education, change them all together. I'll leave you with this one final thought. Never ever forget why we do this job, why we teach this subject. And never forget that even when it doesn't feel like that extra bit of time that we gave made a difference. It probably most definitely did. We just don't realise it yet. Thank you.